Hello children, welcome to your maths class. So children, today we are going to learn addition sums, but these are not the ordinary addition sums that you have already done. So there is a special element that is added over here. And the special element is these are carrying sums. Now we are going to do carry sums. And today I am going to teach you how to go about with the carrying sums. These are not the ordinary mixed sums that you used to do previously. So we have a brand new topic today. And please pay attention while I am telling you how to solve it. So let us come to the first question without wasting time. So as you can see that there is 77 plus 13. So you all know that which part of the question we are going to take first. We are going to solve the right hand side part of the question. That means we are going to take this part of the question first. So please see which number is smaller. Obviously 3 is a smaller number as, it, as 3 comes before 7 in the number line. So 3 fingers out and start your counting from 8, 9, 10. So are we going to write down 10 like this? No, this is not the correct way. So this is a wrong method. So we are not going to write 10 as it is like this. So now how are we going to write 10? See, as we all know that 7 plus 3 is 10. So 1 will be carry over here and you will write 0 over here. So like this you are going to write down 10. You are not going to write down 10 as it is. This is the wrong method. 1 will be carried. It will come above. So over here the 10 you will write 1 over here and 0 over here. Now we will solve this part of the question. So now as 1 is carried over here. So this 1 will be added with this 7. So 1 plus 7 is how much? 8. Yes. So 8 plus 1 is 9. So your answer will be 90. So remember children the number that is the, the number that is carried over here will be automatically added to this number. Then only you will be solving your sum. Because otherwise if you will write down 7 plus 1, 8, then 80 will be the wrong answer. The correct answer over here is 90. Because there is 1 that is carried over here. So this 1 will be added with 7 and it will become 8. And with 8, 1 will be added. Then what will be the answer? It will be 9. So 1 plus 7 is 8 and 8 plus 1 will be 9. So your answer will be 90. Remember children, when you are carrying, this 1 will be added with this number. Now, let us do second question. The second question says 48 plus 24. So, as you all know, we are going to solve this part of the question first. So, what is it? Which number is smaller over here? We all know 4 is a smaller number. So, you will take out how many fingers? 4 fingers. And start your counting from 9, 10, 11, 12. So, are we going to write down 12 as it is? No. We are not going to write down 12 as it is. We are going to write down 12 like this. 1 will be carried and 2 will be written at the bottom. So, 1 will be carried and 2 will be written like this. So, now again this 1 will be added with 4. So, 1 plus 4 will be 5. Then 5 plus 2. So, now in 5 plus 2, 2 fingers out. Okay. 6 and 7. So your answer will be 72. So your answer for this question will be 72. So remember children when you are carrying this number over here this 1 will be added with 4. So 1 plus 4 will be 5. Then how will you do? 5 plus 2, 2 fingers out, 6 and 7. So your answer will be 72. So, remember when this number is carried, this number will be added with the number over here and then you will go about with your addition. Now, let's come to the next question children. So, again we are going to solve this part of the question. 8 plus 6. So, now as it is 8 plus 6, so I can't, I am not able to show you the fingers. So, I will just show it, show it to you like this. So, 8 plus 6. So, 6 fingers will be out and you will start your counting from 9. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, here we have 14. So, will you write 14 over here like this? 
No, this is the wrong method. So, how will you write? You will write 1 over here and 4 over here. So, this is the correct method of writing 14. So, you will write 1 over here and 4 over here. So, again children, this 1 will be added with 6. What will it become? It will become 7. Then 7 plus 4 will be how much? 4 fingers out, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, your correct answer will be 114. This is the correct answer. Remember children to add this one with the number over here. Otherwise your question will be, your answer will be wrong. Because 6 plus 4 is 10. Otherwise if you will write 104, it will be wrong answer. Because you have not added this carry 1. So if you will not add this, otherwise your answer will be wrong. Now let's do the last question for today. Now the last question says 56 plus 25. So again we are going to take this part of the question. So which number is smaller? 5 is smaller. 5 fingers out. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we are going to write down 11 like this? No. We are going to write 1 over here because it is a carrying sum that we are doing. So 1 will be written on top. Now what is the next step? The next step is to add this 1 with 5. So 1 plus 5 will be 6. So 6 plus 2. How much is 6 plus 2? 2 fingers out. 7, 8. Your answer will be 80. Your answer will be 81. So remember children in carrying sums you need to add this 1 with the number over here. Otherwise your answer will be wrong. So this is for today addition sums carrying. Now remember children first we are going to solve this part of the question. And when, it, when the number is in two digit, that second digit will be on top. Just like 6 plus 5 was 11. So, 1 will be carried over here and the other one will be written at the bottom. And this 1 will be added with the number over here. And then it will become 1 plus 5 will be 6. 6 plus 2 is how much? 8. So, your answer will be 81. And don't, and don't, uh, don't make this mistake of adding... 5 plus 2 is how much? 6, 7. You will write, if you will write answer as 71, this will be the wrong answer. Because you have forgotten to add the 1 over there. So I hope the, the concept of carrying is clear to all. So now you can open your notebooks and start doing your exercise. Thank you class.